If you've been following my channel from the start, then you've probably noticed that my content has changed a fair bit since the beginning. So for this video, I'll just be doing a classic old centipede feeding. Just to, you know, get back to my roots a bit. We're gonna be starting off with my biggest and oldest centipede, Gurthang. And she is basically just Azog 2.0 at this point. She is bloody huge and a little bit intimidating, not gonna lie. Today, I'm gonna be feeding her some chicken. Would you like some chick- no, 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 no. What a cracking start. Yeah, so you know when I said Gurthang is basically Azog 2.0? This is what I mean. Okay, put the camera down. To be honest, this is one of my problems with filming centipedes. When the bright lights are shining on them, they're a bit less likely to act naturally. When I'm feeding my centipedes with the cameras off and I'm just doing my own thing, they're generally very cooperative, but in a film setting, screw-ups like this are a whole lot more likely. With that said, she is relaxed a bit now. Maybe she'll take it. Come on. It's chicken. It's finger licking good. Well, it's raw, so it's bloody disgusting for me, but hey, you're centipedes, you eat cockroaches, so obviously your idea of a good meal is different from mine. I think because the chicken isn't alive anymore, sometimes the centipedes have a bit more trouble recognizing it as food. Next up we got this fairly sizable centipede, not as big as Gurthang, but still a good size. Come on. No? No, okay. Maybe the chicken's a bit cold, that could be the issue. Yeah, that chicken is very cold, so... That's probably what's putting the centipedes off. Yeah, so this video isn't exactly going to plan, but then again, when was the last time a video that involved centipedes did go to plan? Well, there we are. I gotta say, this just feels like raising a bunch of extremely fussy children. Extremely fussy, many-legged, venomous children. So this next centipede is kind of a spastic, uh, for lack of a better word. This is a green rub ripez from Cairns. Very stunning centipede, but also a pain in the ass. Hopefully it'll... Thank you traffic outside. Hopefully it'll cooperate, but my expectations aren't exactly the highest. Hi. Yeah, something tells me that's not happening. No? 
Okay, so this centipede did decide to go for a runner. I did make the mistake of trying to persuade it to eat when it obviously wasn't interested, so that is definitely on me. But this has always been my thing with centipedes. Look, you are not going to have a perfect track record keeping these. There are going to be incidents like this. And that is why you really got to be calm around centipedes. Because if I was freaking out and, you know, losing my head over that, the centipede could be gone and somewhere in my room in an instant. So being able to keep a level head around centipedes is extremely important. But my goodness, that is a stunning centipede. She's just, um, yeah, not exactly the most cooperative thing in the world, but that's kind of the norm for these guys. So in you go. You don't get to have any chicken. Now, Silver Valley. What? What is a? Why is there a plant in there? Why is there a plant in there? I, I, I'm somehow I can't keep plants alive when I'm gardening, but I'm able to accidentally grow a plant inside my centipede enclosure without even knowing. How does that work? So this Silver Valley centipede is pretty laid back generally, so I'm not too worried about her bolting. Uh, Please don't prove me wrong, please don't prove me wrong. Also, the lighting is absolutely terrible. Yeah, so this here is- well, okay, stop that. Stop it. Yeah, so this- really? Okay, so. This here is kind of the reason why I prefer to do all my feedings and stuff off camera. It's just a lot easier to get them to exhibit their natural behaviours when I'm not talking and I don't have a light shining on them and I don't have to worry about setting up everything. Usually this goes a lot more smoothly, but obviously for videos it's just complete and absolute chaos. Well, there we go. I think and the lighting's bad come on she's just sort of licking it at the moment are you really that fussy I've seen you guys eat cockroaches like come on just stick those fangs into it all right whatever to be honest I think I'll feed the rest of the centipedes off camera this will be the last one because it's just more trouble than it's worth honestly and like, I don't want you to think that centipedes are hard, because they're not. It's just feeding them and feeding them on camera are just two completely different ball, ball games. And wow, that's zoomed in a lot. Do you want something? No? Really? Look, if you're going to reject your food, then at least don't stand on top of it so I can... Wait. Oh, okay. It's uh, changed its mind. All right. Well, uh, thank you. Thank you for that. You were the most cooperative out of an incredibly unruly bunch. So yeah, look, I'm just going to leave it there. I did plan on feeding more centipedes, but this is just, um, <laughs> yeah, this is not happening. I'm just going to do that off camera and it's going to be so much easier. So if you enjoy my content, then feel free to subscribe. Don't forget to check out some of my other uploads as well. And let me know what you thought in the comments section. Thank you very much for watching. That is it from me and I shall see you again very soon.